I want to be really clear. The odds of a manhole in a London street suddenly exploding while you're next to it are tiny. This is not something to worry about. And the company that handles the cables under London streets is spending a lot of money fixing them up. But yeah, about once or twice a month, on average, somewhere in London, a bit of pavement just goes poof. But no one wants to license security camera footage of actual pavement explosions to just someone on YouTube, and no one wants to be interviewed about it either. So instead, we are going to create our own underground explosion right here with the help of a friendly pyrotechnician. And the easy answer to why London's pavements keep exploding, it, well, it would be electrical faults, and that's what the news often blames. As seasons change, the ground is going to get warmer and cooler, it's going to expand and contract, rain and subsidence will move the soil, and over the course of decades, that is going to steadily wear out the 36,000 kilometres of electrical cables and 100,000 electrical junction boxes that are under London. Most of those were laid decades ago. It's a big city. Things will break. But... Uh, an electrical fault won't make an explosion. If electricity goes somewhere it shouldn't, then the circuit breakers that control the grid will detect that and shut it off right away. The trouble is that there's a lot of other old stuff under London streets, including gas pipes. A steady, slow gas leak in a pipe might not be detected for a while, and in that time the gas can spread a long distance through narrow underground tunnels. So if you've got gas in a tight underground space where it can't expand, thank you, and an electrical spark to set it off, well, that's all we're doing here. Under that cover, there is a fuel source, not enough room for it to expand, and something to make an electrical spark. That's all you need for an explosion. Fire in the hole. This looks devastating in slow motion. The burst of flame, the flying manhole cover, at 1800 frames a second on a zoom lens, it looks like it could do serious damage. But even this dramatised explosion, made with the help of a pyrotechnician, this worst case scenario, is actually not that bad. I tried to do the cool guys don't look at explosions shot, and when you take away all this style... Fire in the hole. It'd hurt if you were standing on it, sure, but like I said, it's not something to be worried about.